Hi, welcome to another unboxing here at Protopic. We've got the Snap Circuits Light Kit from Elenco. Uh, this is a brilliant kit for kids starting in electronics. Basically, you've got a off-the-shelf unit that you can build your custom circuits on and you don't even have to know or look at a soldering iron at all. So what we'll do is we'll start and we'll unbox the unit for you and show you what you get inside, okay? So it comes supplied in a box, ideal for a gift. Uh, it says on here for ages 8 to 108. I couldn't agree with that more. There's not enough kids getting into electronics at the moment. They're all into the, the game systems. Very few are getting into electronics as a hobby. So hopefully this will uh, stimulate them into uh, joining the, the hobby of uh, electronics. Now looking in here you get a manual. Now this particular manual has got 182 different projects in it and it gives you step by step instructions it gives you a picture of how you should lay out your design a nice little smiley guy tells you exactly uh, what's happening and there's a, a small guide as to how to put it together if there's any sort of specific uh, instructions in there as well. Uh, nice and easy manual to read. You also get a set of coloured cards. These are used in conjunction with the, the motor topper and some of the visual displays and strobing displays. Again the manual goes into that uh, rather extensively and gives you a, a nice um, description on what's actually happening as well. And this is the kit. Um, on here you've got your base plate. Now this base plate is solder free. I'll just take a, a random part. Your random part, or my random part rather, just clips on there and you can see on there. I'll try and get some light on it uh, so you can see in the small standoffs that these plug into as well. So hence why it snap circuits because they just snap on and off. Right, let's pop that to the side just now. now. In this kit you've got a couple of battery holders. It takes AA batteries. They're not included with the kit so remember to order uh, a set of batteries uh, when you're ordering the kit as well. There's a colour organ unit. Now this unit here converts sound to light and is ideal for some of the experiments where you maybe hook up your iPhone or uh, an MP3 player or even a, an older CD player to the unit and you'll get an output, a visual output for light. You've also got a strobing unit here and the strobing unit gives a, a varying pulse depending on how it's hooked up. Again, covered in the instructions and exactly how to do that. Now, in addition to the colour organ, you have a fibre optic tree type unit there for giving the, the spread of the, the light. You also have a, a white a obelisk as well as a, a white egg type unit there as well. These basically just sit on the top of the unit here and give you a an indication as to the, the light that's coming in that shines on the, the inside of the APEC eggs there, or the APEC units. Uh, it also comes with the connection rods. That these are various lengths, they just snap together. They're numbered on here, so we have one length, two length, four, five, six, and we also have in here some of the three length as well. You've also got a motor and a helicopter blade that sits on there and some of the, the, the circuits you get that spinning up and it shoots off into the air which is uh, rather snazzy. I wish I had this type of kit when I was younger. Now you've also got speaker just hooks up again, just snap in and you can either use that 
with the colour organ which has got an output so you can get your sound coming through. You also have uh, transistors on these parts here so uh, you can use these as an amplifier. Again these are projects that are covered in the, the very comprehensive manual. And uh, You've got some test leads, well not test leads, jumper leads here. They're used again for using your board here with your circuit. So you get your circuit built on this board, you then maybe need to use the white light as a, a strobe. It's, it's obviously ungainly moving this about with the white light. So you would just use your jumper wires and use that, hold it off to give you a nice uh, mobile sort of uh, indicator unit there. Now going through the various components you have transistors, both of the PNP and the NPN type. You have a variable re sliding resistor here. You have an infrared receiver. This infrared receiver can pick up infrared from remote controls. Uh, it's worthwhile if you've got an old device you may be getting rid of. Give the remote control to the owner of this kit and they can use it in some of the experiments from the book. You've also got three resistors, varying values. A couple of capacitors, again, to different values. These can be used to create um, what they call RC timing circuits. Again, there's experiments in the book that show you a resistor capacitor timer circuit. Here you've got a microphone. The microphone, again, can be used with your colour organ or uh, your transistors and various lights here or LEDs to give feedback from blowing on the microphone or tapping on it to make a, a light display. You've also got switches here, so you've got a slide switch, a press switch, and then you've got LEDs. So you have white, uh, sorry, red, white, a colour LED which changes colours, and you've also got a photo transistor as well, which is slightly different than an LED, even though it looks exactly the same. Now the operation of that again is covered in the manual in depth, so there's, there's no um, sort of guessing what these components do, they're actually described. Also in the box, and it's actually sellotaped to the bottom, you get an audio lead for going into the colour organ, and also a piece of light pipe as it's called, or fibre optic cable. Uh, that again is used in some experiments, for instance going between the, the white LED and the phototransistor, to send a, a light pulse at one end out down the cable, uh, down the fibre optic rather, into the transistor and that will give you uh, an isolated input to output. Uh, these kits are, as I say, are brilliant uh, for new starts into the world of electronics. You don't have to solder anything at all, everything just clips together. I'm just going to put together a, a very simple uh, circuit here. It's probably going to be a nonsensical circuit. Uh, there's going to, not going to be any sort of function built in. So let's um, let's plug the battery in there. Uh, NPN transistor there. A uh, capacitor in there, and an LED there. And all you would do is you would take your various jumper units to make your circuit now on this one I'll move that actually over slightly again I haven't soldered anything so it's just a case of lifting it up popping it back on and you've got a fully functioning or would do if I had batteries in a fully functioning circuit. So I need that to go to there, so I need a single one. Lift that up. That to there. And then another one on there. And then that's about three units away. So we can put that on there. And you would do the same going from here to here. You would use a single on there, a double, and then a four unit going across. 
you can see it's reusable as well and very safe as you're only ever going to operate a maximum of six volts so you don't have to worry about the uh, the experimenter actually electrocuting themselves or causing themselves any harm or injury uh, injury with the electricity anyway I'm going to go and play with this for a little while so thanks for watching